Hey there, I need to do give you a life update. I need to just some information came up today that's just made some changes. So the place that I'm was wanting in uh, Charleston, South Carolina, um, well, that lot should be available at some point in the future, but the the actual mobile home that's on it just found out it's filled with black mold and bed bugs. That's a negative. That's that's just no. That's no. Um, he didn't know that until just recently when he was when he found a way to uh, uh, to, 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 to 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 check, and he found that out, and it's like oh shit. Um, there may be a situation in the future, um, after my mom sells her house, that, uh, maybe I could get, uh, maybe I could get somewhere in that same lot, because that lot should be available in the future, and it, the rent would still be very low. So, um, so in the meantime, I'm wanting to try to figure out somewhere I can go for six months to a year or whatever. So I've been doing a lot of Zillow sh searches, a lot of other searches on sites related to finding apartments, and uh, kind of slim pickings on places that are under 300 a month, but they're there, right? It's all over the US though. I'm hoping I can find, I'm hoping I can find a place in a state or a city that does not allow smoking in bars and taverns. That way, at least if I'm in the middle of nowhere, at least if there's some podunk little bar that has karaoke, I can do karaoke and have some sort of interaction with others in the evening. And then the other thing is being close to a reasonable grocery store. That's, that's the other thing. Um, low rent, the smoking thing, and being close to a grocery store. You know, those are what I'm hoping for. The reason why it's so important for me right now to have my own place is, okay, I have a problem. I have a codependency problem. It's bad. It's really bad. I end up caring far more about the opinions of those I'm living with about what I'm doing, anything I'm doing in my life, more than the actual, uh, you know, cause and effect of the things that I want to do more than the actual potential outcomes of what I want to do. I care, I end up caring more about the feelings of the people I'm living around, the people I'm living with, if it's a roommate, or, and it's even worse when I'm staying at my mom's. Um, and then it will be, I'll go want to do, I'll want to do something, and then I'll think, oh, well, what would they think about this? And then I'll stop myself from doing almost anything. I end up being a complete hermit because it's just constant. Oh well, no, she she probably wouldn't want me to do that, or oh, though they probably wouldn't want me to do that. And I don't know how to get past it. I don't know how to get around it. No, I. I've had this has been probably. This is within the top my top three problems. And I don't, I don't know how to get past it while I'm staying at a place with the roommates. I don't, you know, I'm thinking I just need, I need a sense of living somewhere that all of my decisions are mine. Where there isn't an opportunity for me to worry about, well, what would this person think and what would this person think? You know, get in the habit of making my own decisions 
based off of the actual, you know, what are the actual outcomes, potential outcomes of this versus, you know, what would these people think? If I can get in the habit of that, then eventually if I do live with, with roommates again, I won't have that problem nearly as bad. But when I'm, when I'm in that situation, I don't know how to get past it. And I don't want to treat, I don't want to treat the people I'm living with poorly. So, and I think I would, if, if I'm, if I'm reacting to that sort of thing, you know, and it would be a reaction because I have that feeling about how they view it. And if I try to go against it, it will be sort of out of a, a feeling of rebellion. And if I go out of a feeling of rebellion, then the potential of me treating the person badly as a result is high. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to treat people badly over this stuff. But it's it's my problem. It's not their problem. Of course, my mother has her kind of codependency too, which makes it worse when I'm here. But I have to, for my own mental health, I must find a way to live alone. You know, even if it's just for a couple years, at least I would have you know, in, 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 in more recent years, you know, it, out of the past, you know, 15 or so years, it would, it would be, it, I, I, kind of messing up my wording now, but it would help me tremendously. Um, it's been far too long since I lived alone. And the total of all the times that I have lived alone adds up to just about a year. not uh, that's not enough experience in that and most of it was prior to 15 years ago so this is something I, I, I have to do I have to do for my for my own mental health for my own sake for my own sense of any sort of self-esteem so so I've been looking all over the place, kind of slim pickings when it comes to places that are under 300 a month. Um, but whatever, I, I, I need this experience. I need to do this, even if it's not, maybe it's, even if it's kind of a crappy place that I'll be living for a while. I As long as I have some the, the things that I need. Also, you know, uh, internet. I need to have access to the internet, decent internet. So, um, so at least if I don't have the best social life wherever it is that I go in real life, then I can, I can at least still have a social life online. So, so we'll see what happens. Um, there's still quite a few things to do here at the house. Lots of, there's some garage sales and goodwill runs and things like that that need to go, that need to happen. But once that, it, once that happens, um, I can, I can leave and uh, it won't negatively affect my mother much. Um, and so yeah, that's the plan. I've contacted seven places uh, through Zillow and you know over this next week I'll see what the responses are so other things I have to take care of is I uh, my teeth I, I the I, I don't think I'll be going back to Pierce College for any of that work that it would take at least six more visits for me to get the other three quadrants done and and actually to even finish the one, this one. Two, uh, yeah, damn planes. Um, two visits, and they still didn't finish this quadrant, and they dug, I think they went a little too deep into some of the gums in here, and I'm having really, really bad problems. Um, 
there is a dentist I'm going to see tomorrow that takes Medicaid, uh, Apple Health, uh, uh, Provider One, and uh, I'm hoping you know they can take care of that. I, I don't know. It, it, I might have to have a tooth removed. I might have to have this one, the, the furthest one back here, removed. Um, it's um, besides the uh, being sensitive to temperature beyond anything I thought was even possible um, sometimes when it does get I do have something that's even just room temperature will sometimes set it off and then the pain, uh, the dull pain afterwards lasts for, you know, 15 minutes. And sometimes it reminds me of, uh, sometimes it's as painful as when I had kidney stones. And you just want it to end. You just, so, you know. Uh, not like end your life, but just, you know, give me some drugs, give me something to, to, to take care of this pain. It's, it's just, it's miserable when it, when it hits. So I'm going to be seeing a real dentist tomorrow. And uh, we'll also see if maybe I can get the rest of the uh, scaling done by that same dentist. I'm hoping that I'm if they uncover the stuff on the rest of the, the back parts of the teeth, that I'm not going to have the same problem with them. Or I'll eventually have significantly less teeth, significantly fewer teeth. So anyway, um, yeah, don't, uh, Pierce College, man, I, I still can't believe it. it's like every appointment, every time you come in, they've got to do like an hour and a half of all these tests, tests that they've already done three times in the other appointments that I had, but they have to do it every time, an hour and a half of fucking tests that they've already done. Now we're gonna now we're gonna put the sharp object and jam it into this gum. Now we're gonna take the sharp object and jam it into this gum. Take the sharp object and jam it into this gum. Take the sharp object and jam it into this gum. Oh well, we have to do this because uh, you know it's it's according to our our procedures. Then when they're numbing the mouth, they won't numb the inside. They only numb this part. To where I'm numb all the way up to fucking here. And it still doesn't take care of the inside of the gums near the front. Well, you know, because regulations say they can't, they can't do those other, they can't put, put one there, right? Supposedly the regulations. Um, in Portland, Oregon, when I had scaling done last time, by college, um, they were able to do that, but I don't know, whatever. Um, different state, different rules. But my God, you know, so then they only get to work for an hour and a half on your mouth for the thing that you went there for. So I'm supposed to, I, you know, I, somewhere between eight and 10 appointments to do a scaling on all four quadrants? No. No, 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 no. The answer is no. Most miserable dental experience I've ever had. Ever. And I'm the person I've got... I have four cavities. Well, I probably have more now because it's been too long since I've had that done, but... You know, in my, my younger years, you know, 20s and 30s, I've had four cavities. The last two, to save money, I had them drilled with no Novocaine. Okay? And they're like, are you sure? And I'm like, look, look, 20 seconds of pain at the most when it's not even really going to be that long. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay? What I'm dealing with now, <laughs> like I said, uh, worst, 
worst dental experience I've ever had. And I don't know how those colleges expect to have patients, to have, pe pe to have people come in as patients. Okay, it's fucking ridiculous. You know, if it's an issue of them, of, oh, well, we don't want to overwork that one student, fine. Switch to another student. Have the next student do it, like they did in Portland, Oregon. Oh, no, we can't do that. And we need to make sure it's a really good learning experience for, for the students. That's fine. What about the fucking patients? God damn. And then, of course, the chairs are the most uncomfortable ones I've ever been in as far as dentists, so uh, I have uh, cramps in several muscles uh, by the time I'm done because I'm trying to stop my back from hurting. So... <laughs> anyway... Um, so I need to get that stuff done no matter what. So that's going to take a while. It's going to be at least a month. Um, so, we shall see, we shall see what goes on, but I'm hoping in about a month, I'm hoping I will have found a place to go and can get the fuck out of here and possibly experience some things that are unpleasant because I need to experience them. So. Because I need to learn what I need to learn out of those things. It's important. It's stuff I should have learned a long time ago. So anyway. 